Bring me the next shiny new thing. Bring me the next. The pickleball chicks are obsessed with America's fastest growing sport, pickleball. Get ready for on and off the court hot topics, lots of laughs, cocktails, and champagne with your hosts, Annie and Rebecca. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Annie. And, and we're, we're the, the Pickleball, pickleball Chicks. Hey, welcome to our second podcast. And we are so excited about it. It's Thanksgiving tomorrow. It sure is. It's a season of gratitude, and this entire podcast is going to be about gratitude. Which I love, and you know that's your thing. So you're going to shine today. Yes, we are. And we have so much to be thankful for at the Pickleball Chicks. Pickleball Chicks. But we have to start out with our two things that we do every podcast. Mm -hmm. One, the word, word of, the of the day is fun. <laughs> so every time you hear us say fun, you have to drink. And we're always going to have a drink of the day. And you can either choose that. Actually, choose your favorite drink. Mm. And the drink of the day, guess what? We have a surprise. Every podcast, we're going to have a new bartender making up a drink. So because it's Thanksgiving, my son is home from college. We're so excited. He's a bartender. Oh, oh. Love it. And so he is serving our drink of the day. Ashton, come on. Ashton. Over. Oh, it's so great having you home, Rebecca. Isn't it great having your kids uh, home? Oh, my gosh. And Xander, Annie's son, is home, too, which she's been super excited about. It's so fun to see him. Very excited. Okay. Ashton, come on over and show us what you got. Ooh, I yes. I made these shots. Ooh. And what's it Thank called? You. It is called the Ernie. The yes. Ernie. And what's in this Ernie? It is Midori vodka and pineapple juice. Ooh, and I don't know if you saw this, but did you? Can you see the pickleball chick sprinkles? Ooh, I love that! What a great touch! I love it too. Oh my gosh, Ashton, thank you. Say hi to our listeners. Yes. Hello. And if you're looking to follow Ashton, he's Ashton underscore Hicks on Instagram. I follow him. I do too. He's <laughs> our number one, one of our number one fans. Oh, he is a super fan. Yes. And is. now a super bartender for the Pickleball Chicks. So cheers, Annie. Cheers, Rebecca. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Yes. I'm thankful for you. I'm grateful for you. Thank you. Mm hmm. Mm. Wow. wow that was good. <laughs> that I was love really good. Mm, the sparkles. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Man. It was like candy in a cup. Mm. Ashton, that was really good. You all did yourself, sweetheart. Mm. Nice. I cried. Boy, that, that was delicious. It really was. <laughs> so, either you're going to have your drink or you can whip up one of ours. And every time you hear our word, word of the day, day fun, fun, drink up and enjoy the podcast with us. Yes. When we wanted to start our podcast, we had a mission in mind, and that was to spread the fun. To spread the fun. So here we are. And we're spreading it. So I'm thankful for you because you're so positive, you're so kind, and you are really fun, and we just laugh, laugh, and laugh. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you for that because I'm equally as grateful for you, Rebecca. What I love most about you is you are fun with a capital F, capital U, capital N, exclamation point. <laughs> and this is going back for a couple decades. So it is just who you are. You have a beautiful heart. Thank you. You're so talented. And we have been meeting such lovely people together. And I am thankful for that. You know, when you think you're just going to take up a sport, we're going to try it out, see what it is. I need some exercise. And then you leave. And you know a million people and people that are just really great, kind, generous people. Absolutely. And speaking of, one of the things we're so grateful for is our first event. Oh, it was last weekend and it was over at Mega Pickle and Pond. Mm -hmm. If you remember Bob from our last podcast, he helped us with it. He did a fabulous job. And all the people there, Rick and his wife, did an awesome job. 
Um, we had almost 40 girls there yes. playing in the tournament event. Extravaganza. We loved it. We loved it. And they all picked out their own team name. And there were some good ones. There were some good. What were your faves? Well, oh my goodness. I love the Dinking Queens. Pickle Pounders. Dinking. Day Dinking. Day Dinkers. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the Dinks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Loring Ladies. Lobbing Ladies. Ladies of the Court. Gosh. which There were good ones. There were good so ones. So many. And, and we just laughed and laughed and laughed. Oh, Eminem. Two M Ms, two M Ms. Yes. Gordy's gals were there. Net Wait. assets were there. Oh yes. Did we? Did you say um, pickle pounders? I did say pickle pounders. <laughs> I mean, that's just great. And a special thank you to Pickle Pounder Carol. Yes, who did help us with our shirts. Thanks, Carol. Yes, Carol, you are good. Yes, yes, yes. I hope you're watching, Carol. I do too. Now there were a few other fabulous moments from the extravaganza. What was your okay? What was your favorite moment? I have to say our beautiful obsessed champagne wall oh. that your husband made oh, for us. He made it. He is super fun. Mm -hmm. yes. I loved it. We'll put a picture up. The ladies loved it. The ladies did love it. Yes, they did. Okay, my favorite time was okay. I had a couple. I had a couple. Uh, one I loved when uh, we gave away a pic ninja. Mm -hmm. uh, Assassin Pro Paddle, which was donated from Pick Ninja, yes. who we love so much, and it's our favorite paddle. It's the one that we would, we always use, we always go to. But she was so excited when she won that we did a scavenger hunt, and that was the prize. I loved that. That was really cool. That was so cool. And how generous of Huye. Yes. Thank you for donating Shout that. Out, Thank you. Yes. Um, and then my other one, we had a pink ape who um, joined us for our event. Pink ape and he it was hard to see in the outfit i think because he did take a little tumble <laughs> oh goodness <laughs> sakes <laughs> oh, he really brought the fun and speaking of when we put baby got back on the loudspeaker <laughs> everyone just dancing and having it was a blast. really fun like it was yes. uh a bunch of girls who, even if they didn't know each other, they had so much fun together. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was really cool. It was lots of fun. Thank you to everyone who yes. participated. Yes. 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 And uh, speaking of, we've been asked about our events. We have so many different events coming up. And our very next event is this Sunday, this the Sunday. 27th. At the Cider House. I love it. Eat, dink, and, and be merry. <laughs> it, the Cider House is in Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota. It's it's a really cool site. And Annie and I both love the ciders. Mm. So we figured we had to have it there because we can both drink and love our drinks. What's your fave there? Duck side. It's lemon and lavender. As a cider. I mean, it really is delicious. And then I had... Uh, was it the blueberry? Berry pie. Berry, berry pie, pie cider. And that, oh my God, just, I mean, honestly, if you haven't been there and you are in Minnesota, you really have to try them. And everybody will be um, doing ciders and a s'mores bar and we have some other crazy things and then pickleball. Yes, we do for our event. So we can't wait to welcome our, our guests for our next event. Yeah. And uh, let's get back to our topic. Yes. Gratitude. Yes. Gratitude. We really want to encourage everyone to take some time out here in the next few days. Yep. If you're at an event, you know, everybody's going to be with family and friends tomorrow and everybody, you kind of forget what Thanksgiving is about. So I hope that everybody takes a couple minutes, find somebody that they're super thankful for, and just take a couple minutes and let them know why. Because mm -hmm. who doesn't love that? Yes. And you get caught up in the pie and the food and the turkey, mashed potatoes, red wine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Has so anybody heard that song before? Uh, Thanks, yes, yes, yes. I yes. mean, I lost the tune, but it was really funny when I heard it. We'll have to play it. Yeah, maybe we should go out. That should be our our follow up song. That'd be a fun thing to do. Yeah. Say, I wanted to mention one more thing. In our lives, as we get so busy, and we're thinking about sharing something kind with someone who we care about, 
most often we're thinking about it perhaps or we're taking it for granted which we really want to be careful not to do yep but the most beautiful gift is the gift of expression yes a sincere yes. nice compliment or something that you're thinking about and really look for ways to do that this yeah. Thanksgiving season. Yeah. You know how we love to share tips. We always have to have one tip for the pickleball game because everybody's always asking us questions on just different things of the game. And we had watched the Waters girls play and was, I don't know, maybe it was a month ago <clears throat> and they had an uh, issue with people lobbing it over and there was a sun issue, whatever. And so everybody was saying, what'd you think about it? What, what, you know, so we kind of discussed it between the two of us and I thought we should do a tip on it. So Annie, go ahead. You've yes. got some really great stuff. Well, thank you. And I would like to tribute some of these notes to our first coach, Tracy, who yes. really, really helped us. I think we even spoke about Tracy in our first podcast. However, when you're being loved, you're, and it's over your head. You cannot return that. And you know what's so funny? I just have to say this. When somebody hits a lob over your head, it seems like it's all in slow motion. <laughs> I mean, what's so weird is that nobody can just seem, I mean, obviously they get it, but it seems to be like one of the most difficult shots. But yet if you think about it, the ball is going so slow and it's just chaos. It's utter chaos. It is chaos. And because we want everyone to benefit from some of our tips. Yep. We believe, we've been told, we agree, we've practiced, we believe it. <laughs> uh, we, this is what we do as our partnership for when we play pickleball together. Mm -hmm. If Rebecca's being lobbed, it's coming over my head. I am going to run to her side of the court diagonally, which first of all reduces possibility of injury. And I have seen so many people tumble backwards, including myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're going, 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 which, and you know your partner can get it. Yeah. So you have to just stop, stay in place. Let your partner, like Annie said, run diagonally, safer. Yes. I'm hitting a better shot because I'm not responding to something that more than likely is going up in the air, which you know what's going to happen. They're smashing it back. Yes. And us. you know when you run, everybody knows the shot where you run backwards and then you try to whack it, but you're backwards. Put your backwards. And it doesn't work. Exactly. So it's my responsibility to cover my partner's lob. And then my partner in exchange is covering my side of the court. I'm now on her yes. side of the court. And once you know these fundamentals, the game of pickleball becomes more fun. And the ball goes that much slower when you're in control. Mm -hmm. And that's another tip that our coach Tracy right. shared with right. us. Slow the game down. When the game starts going at a faster pace, you have control. Yes. Control it, slow it down. And so those are some great tips. And we're all, we want, so we are doing this podcast and all of this stuff just because we have had so much fun and we really want other people to be able to experience the fun and have fun and that we can say that we kind of helped someone along the way with their pickleball game and that they just look at life a little bit differently. So I thought that was a great tip. I think so too. And we all know lots of people on the court love to share tips. And so when you listen some to Some good, <laughs> some bad. Some bad. So when you hear a tip, think about it like you do in every aspect of your life. Does this one make sense for you? <laughs> and if Take so, it with a grain of salt. Right. Yeah. But oh. this actually is a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, I believe it is yeah. too. So rolling into mindset from gratitude. Yes. Mindset. It's a choice. It is a choice. And people forget that because who hasn't heard people just blah, 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 negative, negative, negative. And you know what? You could turn that negative into a positive. Absolutely. And if you look for the good, you see the good. Yeah. If you look for the alternative, that's what you will see. I don't know about you, but I want more goodness in my life. Right. And those it, more goodness in the lives of those that I care about and or have the privilege of getting to know. 
right. through pickleball. <laughs> so when I get caught up and I'm like, oh, I'm so irritated, I have caught myself. I turn the words around and just say something positive. It doesn't have to be all weird and wonky, but I just say something positive to myself and move on. And you can see how things change. And I think people get just so caught up in being negative and just getting bad mouthy about everybody else. Well, on the pickleball court, you don't do that unless you give one weird look to your partner. Oh, <laughs> I don't want a weird look. It's I'm, only when hey, you really do a good shot and then they miss it. Then you go like this. Ooh, I'm not the partner she's talking about. <laughs> Just kidding. But you know, actually, that's a topic that we've spoken about as well, is how to be a good partner. Right. And it boils down to the same basic thought process. Look for the good. Yep. We all have that great shot and it feels great. And we all have one of those where it's like, oh, darn. Right. Oh, darn. And who plays good when somebody gives you a weird look? Nobody. So even, you know, beginners, pros, whatever, you cannot treat your partner poorly and think you're going to win. Right. Or sometimes forget about winning and just think about enjoying because when you enjoy, you win, you win. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, simple. it's true. Yes. It really is simple. And you know, we have a couple of important topics to follow up on right now. Number one, Rebecca, how are you doing since your surgery? Our listeners, I'm sure, would like to know. Yes. Yeah, so people have been asking me. So I had uh, knee surgery. I had a torn meniscus and I had knee surgery on Monday. And I am doing really great. So I, uh, instead of them stitching it up now, they like to just slice it. And it's really a really fast recoup time. So I have been super excited. And we will have on um, in a couple of podcasts a uh, physical therapist and an acupuncturist, just because whenever we talk about, when I said I had knee surgery, you say anything about knees and there's 10 people turning around saying, oh my God, I had this, I had that. So we decided just to focus one podcast on yes. having a physical therapist, having the acupuncturist, seeing mm -hmm. what works really great. Um, and so yes. we kind of will update you on that. But so we've been, Annie and I have been going back and forth about going to the, um, bubbly uh tournament in vegas uh in december Very and about that. yes and now that it is my healing is going so fast we're going we're going we're so excited you know and along those lines let's talk about a few items at southdale lifetime oh yeah 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 yeah. because i'm a big believer i am a yes. big believer and sharing any tips that help somebody is yes. always great yes so the norma tech Ooh. session or the hydro massage. They both run 20 minutes at the Southdale location. At Lifetime. At and Lifetime. Regina, yeah. mm -hmm. And shout out to Steve. We really think Steve is groovy. We love him. And he, he's in charge have, of the pickleball. Yes. And they have their grand opening on December 3rd. Which we will be there. Yes, we will. Yes. And you can register right in your Lifetime app if you're a Lifetime member yes. to go to the event. And I don't think you want to miss it. But in any event, getting back to these tools, they are intended to help your body really recover and so through either the hydro massage or the uh if any of you have ever used the recovery boots they're called or sleeves and really oh it, and i've used the game ready and that so that's just really icing with pressure and then it moves the fluid around i love that so much and i'm sure everybody's used it but that has been my go-to over this long extended period where I was debating, do I have the surgery? Do I not? And I'm so glad I did. But that is something, if you have a lot of swelling on your knee, that has worked awesome. And it's called the game ready. And that's a sleeve with pressure and ice. I love it. There Ooh. are options. There are options. And the other thing I'm trying with my physical therapist, and I don't know the name of it, so I didn't necessarily want to bring it up, but it is a sleeve and it's almost like a blood pressure cuff. And then you do the workout with that on and it's supposed to build muscle faster. So we're going to be doing that and I'll be able to update you on that. Oh, uh, that's exciting. Road. Yeah, isn't that? It's really exciting. Yeah. I love all of the advancements I in know. technology. I know. Uh, it's wonderful. And you know, speaking of mindset, speaking of your surgery, I have to say I'm very impressed 
with you, Rebecca, and the fortitude of your mind, the positivity you have really put forth as you've embraced the situation Thank you. and you moved through it. Thank with, you. With success. Thank you so much. So in December, watch us, Mandalay Bay, the bubbly tournament. You probably see a couple medals on her necks. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And be sure to tune in to our next podcast. We have Fouye with Pick Ninja Oh, joining yes. Us. And you don't want to miss that because we really wanted to discuss the paddles. And everybody's always asking about our paddles and who makes our paddles and all that jazz. So he will come up on our next podcast. He sure will. And you know, we have a special for you, for all of our listeners. Yes. Shall we? Yes, we should. Yes, we should. Da -da -da -da. Everybody was asking. We had these at our event. And everybody was asking. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to get really close so that you can see them. And you see that they're um, lamb's wool. Mm. And we they're have adorable. them in black and in cream. Yes. But everybody really likes the black. They do love the black. I love the black. I, I love the beautiful. black. I love the black. Yes. Too. And so we have a Black Friday promotion. Woo! Yes, we do. So you can purchase our hat normally $45. Yep. Buy one. Get, get one, one free. free. So Woo! check it out on our website, pickleballchicks.com. With, With an, an axe. axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. And, you know, once again, happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Yes. And thank you so much for tuning in. And follow us on Instagram. Yes. Ooh. Facebook. And, by the way, we have reached over a thousand, thousand followers. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much yes. for everybody who has supported us mm -hmm. and taking the ride with us for a fun journey on the pickleball court. Oh my gosh. And you know, shall we? Cheers. Cheers to another great podcast and cheers to Ashton, our new bartender for the day. I loved it. Thanks, Ashton. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving and happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Cheers. Cheers. And if you haven't had enough of us yet, here's some bloopers. Either choose that, actually, choose your favorite drink. Mm -hmm. Choose your favorite drink. And then 